I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Montezuma, the king of the Aztecs. I take two fingers right here in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line out, curve line in, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line in, and connect. I come right back over here at this indentation and I draw a big curve line up, over, connect. I come back over here about this far space and I draw a curve line up, over, connect. I come inside and I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect on the left. And right here I'm going to draw slightly curved line out, curve line in, connect. I come on the right hand side. I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come back over here to this indentation and I'm going to draw a big curve line down, over, up. Then I'm going to draw another big curve line in, down, connect. Okay? Now I come back over to the inside and I'm going to draw one curved line on the left, one curved line on the right. I come back to the left, I draw a slightly curved line and then a big curved line up, down, connect. Come on the right hand side, I draw a big curved line down, up, connect. Right here in the center, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down around and leave it floating. Come down a little ways. We're just going to draw a curved line up, down, over. Big curved line down, up, over. And if you have room, draw me a circle. And now we're going to draw one, two, three, four straight lines. Okay. Come all the way over here to this indentation. We're just going to draw a big curve line out. Now we come on the top and we draw a wavy line, curve line, wavy line, curve line, wavy line, curve line, connect. That's on the right. Now come over here on the left. We're going to draw one, two, curve lines off the page. Now come back to the first one and we're just going to go up curve line, in, out, in, out, off the page. Curve line out, in, out, in, off the page. Curve line in, out, in, out, off the page. Curve line in, out, in, out. Okay. Come inside this space and we're going to draw a big curve line over down, inside, one, two, three curved lines, straight line, right hand side, one, two, three straight lines, straight line going down, let's draw one more, let's see if we can fit one more curved line on the inside and connect, okay. Now, starting over here at this indentation, or let's say this space right here, let's just draw baby circle, baby circle, baby circle, all the way down on the left. And now going up, baby circle, baby circle, keep going on the right. It's about there. Now we can draw slightly curved line, baby circle, slightly curved line. 
Starting at the bottom, we're going to try and draw a curve line up over, curve line down, come up to the top, we're going to draw a curve line up, down, little curve line, curve line out, out, connect. Come all the way down here and let's just do a baby circle and draw a wavy, wavy line up and over. Now we can add one, two straight lines. Okay, now come over here on the left and we're just going to draw curve line, straight lines, curve lines all the way down off the page. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Now I come in and I draw a wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Come back in, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Add, if you have room, straight diagonal, little straight line, straight diagonal, connect. And I think that's all. It's going to be interesting. Oh, I knew I'd forget. Right here we're going to do curved lines going up. Keep going. Now we do vertical curve line. Vertical curve line. And now we do curve line off the page. Curve line off the page. Now I think we're done. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and color in this section black right here so I don't forget. And it looks like I might need to add another curve line down. Wavy line up, 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 connect. I think that's all. We'll know as soon as I start coloring. Okay, let's see how we are going to color this in. Okay, the first thing you have to remember right off the bat is that we don't really know what Montezuma looked like. So what we're really coloring in is a representation of what people thought he looked like. So the first part I'm going to do is I'm going to take my multicultural crayons. If you don't have one, that's okay. Just use your brown. And I'm going to color in his face. And this is so... I can see what I'm doing because there's a lot going on because his outfit, his, uh, his costume, it's not even his costume, what he has on, how about that? What he has on is so intense with color and details that let's get the big stuff colored in so you can see where his face is and where his ears are. This is part of his chest. You know, it was hot in Mexico. They didn't wear a lot of clothes. But he wore some really fantastic jewels and feathers and such. So this is all Montezuma. And this is Montezuma over here, too. Okay, this is all skin. Next, let's do his hair. This is hair. So this is hair. And this is hair down here, this space. Let's get this colored in so we can see what we're doing. And this side part is hair also. Now, the rest of him is jewels and feathers and all kinds of stuff. So it's almost up to you on which way you want to go. So what I did was I double colored. I knew he wore a lot of gold. I don't have gold, but I do have yellow. So I'm going to color this section in, and I'm going to do his feathers with one cut coat of color. I'm going to make this yellow. These are feathers. Make this yellow. And it doesn't have to be colored really good because we're going to go over it in just a minute with some double coloring. This down here on the lower right, I made, pretend this was gold, so I made this yellow. Okay. Now, behind his emblem up here, I'm going to make that yellow also. 
Now the other thing that they had a lot of and they used to use a lot was turquoise. And this is the actual stone. So we're going to make this all turquoise. Beautiful jewelry. You can, if you Google Aztec jewelry or gems, you'll see that. This is turquoise and this was like a plug. A jewelry plug for the bottom part of his chin and lip. So that's turquoise and I'm going to make this top part turquoise also and down here I'm going to make this turquoise. Anything that I thought was a jewel I made turquoise. Okay. Now the next part was that he was all done in feathers and weavings so I'm going to do these all with red orange and you can really choose your own colors. But I'm going to do red orange on this section. I'm going to use my um, ba -bum, red violet as a contrasting color. Just because I thought it was an unusual combination. You also have to remember that this is Mexico, so a lot of this is tropical colors and birds and stuff like that. Okay, since I have my violet, red violet out, I'm going to do this section all the way over and this section on this side also. Now, you, like I said, you can put your own color combinations together. These are just the ones that I chose. So this is red violet. Okay, next I used regular blue. So I'm going to do this. Regular blue. This is his robes. Highly decorated also, embroidered, weaved. Beautiful weavings. This is part of his robes. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is part of his robes too. Now this nose piece, not nose piece, this part right here, this is an earring. I'm going to make this turquoise, but you can make it gold if you wanted to. Okay, now I still need to do, I'm going to do this section, red, violet. Now I'm trying to make my color combos kind of go together. Next, I'm going to use purple. And the last color I'm going to do for him is I'm going to use my red orange. And I'm going to go over my feathers, just put some lines, follow the lines that you've already drawn. And I'm going to do his headband with some uh, red orange. And I'm going to do this section up here, red orange. And this big feather also. Bring this down. Like I said, most of it should be gold, but I don't have any gold. Okay. Is that all? That might be all. Now, I used a light brown and just filled in the background. Now, supposedly, the reason why we even have this kind of picture of Montezuma is because when the Spanish came in the monks had what they called codices which were like diaries and they or encyclopedias really and they drew pictures of the natives and all of the strange things they saw in the New World. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Montezuma, King of the Aztecs, Emperor of the Aztecs, all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.